In this video, we're going to teach you about crawling. Simple, right? Something that we've done since we were kids. But it's something that challenges our body to load the wrists, elbows, shoulders, switch on our core, load our hips in a completely different way than walking does. It also helps us get a cross connection between our limbs and areas of our brain as well. All right, so the first thing we need to do is set you guys up with how to crawl. So I want you to get into this all fours position, wrists uh, underneath the elbows and the shoulders, everything nice and straight. The back should be roughly parallel to the ground, the head shouldn't be up or too far down. From here I just want you to play around with shifting the weight forwards and backwards and getting the wrists used to uh, holding some weight. So I'm going side to side as well as forwards to backwards. Once you feel comfortable in that position, I want you to make a short side. So bring your right hand back a little bit and your right knee forward a little bit, and then a long side. And from here, as you lean forward, you'll see that there's a natural propensity to take one hand and one leg up. And we call this contralateral patterning. All right, so keep the knees down to start with and just walk forwards or crawl forwards and backwards using a contralateral pattern. Try and get the knee and the hand to touch at the same time. Now, a common problem with this is actually going a little too big with the legs and you end up bunched up, or a little too small with the legs and you end up uh, lengthened out. So just try and get the, the knee and the hand to move the same distance each time. Once you've got that down, we now need to add a bit of a challenge. You're going to take your knees an inch up off the floor. So again, start in this position, knees an inch up off the floor, 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here. Get used to holding that position. Once you're here, again, make the short side and the long side. Lean forward and see if you can get your hands and your feet to land at the same time. In control, pull your shoulder blades down away from your ears. Get your back nice and flat. Try not to move it too much. And just go forwards and backwards with crawling. In the movement center, we assess people with crawling and we try and get them to do it for two minutes non-stop before they progress up in the class level. So that's going to be something for you to try, two minutes of crawling. So go on, make yourself stronger and give it a go. 